I'm going to show you something really unusual. A uh, lot of tourists don't really come down this way. We're in the south of the island, Berzebuja. It's a seaside place. You come for the sand and there's the free port. But this is a cave that was formed millions of years ago. In fact, they found uh, remnants going dating back to 500,000 years. And there's bones uh, of elephants, hippopotamus. They were stranded when the, uh, the, obviously the movement of the earth because Malta was connected to Sicily all those millions of years ago. And they were stranded here, and the water uh, brought the bones into this cave. I'm going to show you this cave. It's Ar Dalam. Ar means cave. Dalam is, was the area that all those years ago. Uh, it's only five euros to go in. You can see how quiet it is. <laughs> I think nobody knows about this place. It's down here. There's just a few people coming out. Um, there's a car park up on the left. This is the road that goes to Berzebuja. It's got a nice beach, the free port is there, and you can continue on to Valletta. Okay, let's go down and have a look. Okay, we're gonna go down here. Uh, this is the entrance. There's an um, exhibition, like a museum, like a Victorian style, and the cave is just behind there. There's also remains of human remains of about 7,000 years ago. Here's the prices here. And the area we are in now. You can see this is quite an old place. It's been here for a long, long time ago. Just come off the main road, there's a car park. Okay, let's go in then. Okay, you just come through the doorway there, five, five pounds. This is the start of the museum. I'm not going to bore you. Actually, they've got a website. You can go to the website and find out. See how the glacier in the Ice Age, Malta was connected then to Sicily in the Ice Age. Lots of information here. Bones were found here from elephants, dwarf elephants. Hippopotamus. And then deer. It's a really old painting, this one here. It's during the Ice Age, Ardalum. Teeth of elephants. And the bones, fossils of hippopotamus. some of the remains of the men, of humans.
beautiful structures of animals, deer, hippopotamus, elephants, teeth, bones. This is our Darren K from 1950s. Little bit of shine, I think. Sorry, guys. Interesting room here. And some of the deer that was in Malta in the Ice Age. Let's go and see if we find the cave. The uh, cave is through this door on the right hand side. Okay, you come out of the museum there. We go down to the cave. That was really interesting, that room. Packed. Cabinets about 14 foot by 10 foot. There's about six or seven of them. Full of fossils from the Ice Age, from elephants, deer, hippopotamus. Um, you see, Malta was connected in the old days, in the Ice Age, to, to Sicily. There was a whole connection. And then it started to move apart, like uh, obviously the, uh, the Earth does. Wow, look at this area here. We're going down now, guys, going down into the cave. You can see this whole area must have been... They found it um, late 19th century, they found the cave. Wow, it's a bit windy from... There's a, like a valley here. That I find the name of the valley. It's going down to Berzabuja, the valley, just here. The actual animals wasn't in the cave itself. They were washed down from different areas. Uh, obviously the water going into the sea from Berzabuchi, so obviously there was a lot lost. There's a whole valley coming down into Berzabuchi. Like here, there's an old mill over the back there, used to use for grain. We're going down a bit lower. Oh, this is the cave here. Ah, Dallam. Let's have a look at the valley first from here before we go in. Probably we get the name. What is caught from here? Oh, they're actually restoring some of some of the uh, places, habitats of plant life. This is the way we're going to go into the cave from here. Uh, it does seem a few people, but not very busy for a place of this fantastic historic. A uh, lot of information here you can read. It's 144 meters long, but I heard only 70 because uh, some of it is dangerous from the back there. This is the biggest cave in Malta, and the oldest. You follow the link from before, I'll show you the uh, Ardalum, I went there, to... Uh... Well, I hope it's picking you up, there's a little bit of light, but it's quite dark down here. Like there's a 
the water used to run. It's about 70 metres. The cave actually goes 144 metres right back, which is a little bit dangerous, so obviously they blocked that off. It's getting darker down here. <laughs> I can hear water dripping. Yeah, I'm getting a warning that the light is very low here. Ah, beautiful, right at the base here. No, I can't go any further from here. The cave is blocked off the rest of the 70 meters. Uh, there's like structural problems with the cave. But quiet down here. There's just one lady at the top taking some photographs. You want to put a bit of lights so you see further back from there. It goes a bit lower at the back. Perhaps the roof has actually fallen in. I'll just shine my light a bit so you see. 500,000 years they've seen formations coming down from there. I'll try and put my light so you see. Static nights come in. Wow, look at the formation of the rocks there in that area. Look at that, this mate is actually forming from the top there. Oh, some people coming, we're not going to get the quiet to ourselves. This is really incredible, guys.
Massive formations here. Really impressive. Wasn't that fantastic, guys? We're alone again. Uh, it's not very busy. There's like one or two people come. Some people want to stay and do some photographs. Uh, just, it's so quiet. And it's a, such a fantastic treasure. Uh, let's just walk. I want to take a selfie with this uh, behind me, the cave. It's beautiful though. So cool down here. All those from the Ice Age. Very, very interesting in that museum. Uh, I'm not going to stay there very long because it will bore you uh, and they can't get a good shot with the video because they're so big, the cabinets. But definitely come over here. A um, lot of tourists are going to miss this. They come, Valletta, Lima. I really want to show you guys uh, something unusual. So you can say, well, you know, Malta has got some, not just, uh, <laughs> it's got sea and sand and sun, but it's got so much more. And this is my idea of my uh, channel. I want to show you those places. I'll show you the uh, feasts, obviously. Uh, anything that's going on, I'll try and get there as well. But I want to show you this fantastic history that Malta's got. This is from the Ice Age. Two million years ago. I mean, come on. <laughs> you can't beat it. Thanks, guys. Let's leave it there. Uh, this is a great place to finish. Our Dalam, our cave. We've got about three or four caves, I think, around Malta and one in Gozo. Uh, but this is the best, the best I've been to. The other one, there's one, uh, Hassan. Uh, not many people know how to get there, and it was closed off some years ago. Still people go to it, but it can be a little bit dangerous. Uh, you have to know to take a light. This, you don't need a light, and you don't need good footing, because they've made some wooden things and everything. Uh, easy going, lots and lots of information. Come, guys. Come to this place, you'll have a fantastic time. The history is fantastic. A uh, little bit dark here. Let me go a little bit further up at the top here. We'll finish the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I love these places. So I want to bring you to more places. Thanks a lot, everybody. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up. Please share this fantastic video because this place needs to be known more. Uh, Heritage Malta, go to their site and you'll learn lots about Malta. Lots of history, uh, there's different things they're finding all the time and they're opening them up. Uh, Heritage Malta, is a, you can buy a combined ticket as well, you can go around all the different sites of, uh, of the history of Malta. Thanks anyway, thumbs up, share, hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, next video coming up, um, oh, we've got the flower festival, I think probably this will be up after it. I hope you enjoyed that one about the horses. Go over to my skydiving one because it's not getting enough views. I need to get it. The more views you get, the more it gets shared and I need a little bit of help with it. So go and have a look at it. Just give me a click and a thumbs up. You don't need to comment. Just get me some views on there and please share it. it really help a lot. Bye everybody. Take care. See you soon. English Money Malta. Subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.